Ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Just yeah. be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got a arm. Ah. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Hey, thought he had the power, no. no. Beat him by a 50 piece. Yeah. Use a skill, watch a beat. That's another Peaky D. Doing everybody bad. bad. Boy, you getting victimized. And know them ain't no juke moves. You just get the game ain't even started yet, but you already shoot. Got some mad librarian, now watch him throw a book. Wow. Capping like new era, boy, you tripping. What he thought he on? Big dog status, you a pup. Sorry, doggy bone. Ayy, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Ayy, making every quarterback look like they got an arm. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Ayy, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. What's happening, Doggy Vo, man? We back on the Madon with another banger for y'all boys. And I'm going to lose your streak, man. Now, comment down below and let me know what y'all longest losing streak of Madden 23 is and your longest losing streak on Madden, period, is. My longest losing streak on the Madon is this year is three games. You know what I'm saying? Three games, that's the longest, and that's only happened once. I had one three game lose. I just what I just I just couldn't get it together. You feel me? And you'll see on this first drive, I get fucking bagged to all shit, bro. Bag to hell this drive. You know what I'm saying? And again, it's just a matter for me is 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 becoming disinterested, you know what I'm saying? Because I record so much. So you're gonna have times where you just don't feel like playing them a dime. You know what I'm saying? I, I for sure have them. I for sure have them where I don't feel like playing. Y'all got to understand, I'm a five-plus hours a day recording individual. Today, I didn't record five-plus hours. Well, y'all seeing this on Saturday. Today was like more of a mental break for me type day because uh, I seen this shit, and it, it made me think a lot today, bro. I'll share it with y'all. I was watching an 85 South show in The Breakfast Club, and then they was talking, oh, my God, I hate this stupid game, bro. Run it back, run it back, watch the tight end. This is why I don't get upset about the Madon. This is why. Now, is it bad pocket? Hell no. Could I climb? Yeah. Would that stop anything here? No, because they've done their job on that left side. But then when you, I mean, when you look at the right side, this guard, he kicks out here. When I've ID'd outside to let him know to kick out outside. ID it like, so if it's a spread out blitz, you want to ID corners. Opposite side of your blocking corners. If it's more of a condensed blitz, you want to ID lineman. I mean, outside the end. So spread blitz like dollar, corner. Condensed blitz like overstorm, Outside the end, opposite side. That's my blitz pickup scheme this year. But they just let dog just walk through. Piss me off. So that put me in a tight slot right there on the fourth and twenty. I'm about to get back to what I was telling y'all. And uh I just I just had to throw some shit up. Cause I knew because how we picked that blitz up, I'm like, damn, we might get screamed at. Cause you know how the Madon go. When they fluff up a blitz assignment once, that drive is finna be hell trying to get them not to fluff up another blitz assignment. And we actually did pick that up well. He got but You know what I'm saying? I just had to throw some shit. But I was watching 85 South on Breakfast Club. And they started, and they was talking to DC. It's probably the best interview I've ever uh, watched outside of the Michael Beasley Pivot uh, uh, podcast interview. And they were just talking about, uh, DC was talking about how uh, losing his, uh, his wife. Uh, Chico was talking about, Chico and Carlos was talking about how they lost my Dukes. And all that. And this is something I've always known about myself. I have an obsession with death. I've had it for as long as I can remember. Because I, like, I resonate with death more than anything because it's the earliest uh, feeling that I ever remember having. Like one, of the, like, one of my earliest memories is when my grandma on my pop side died. And I remember being at the funeral... And my pops, he had his suit on, but he had his jacket off, uh, the little straps around, and he was just real stoic, standing up. But he had a tear, because I only seen my pops cry twice in my life. My grandmother's funeral, and then when he came home for prison, because 
uh, when my brother got killed, he was in prison. My first, the first brother that I lost, he was in prison. So when he came home, uh, they they played him the funeral that was on DVD, and I seen him cry. Then I've only that was the only two times I ever seen him cry. As pause, I know this is crazy to break down, but. I'm going I'm to do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's in a U-Trips look. I always tell y'all, single side, uh, running back, uh, wide receiver, uh, a seam flat is going to match this individual throughout the uh, route. And then I'm sending pressure off this right side. The pressure gets picked up because he blocks. But, you know what I'm saying, the seam flat still plays underneath four as well. And we end up getting the picky D with the best coverage backer in the game. But, yeah, but it's the, like my earliest memories. My cousin, aunt, my first cousin. Uh, he was killed a, a little bit after my grandma. They found him wrapped up in uh industrial garbage bags in a uh, in a dumpster in the alley. I remember how bad that did tore our family up then. You know what I'm saying? So like, I just got an obsession with it because it's the, it's like my like all uh, most of my memories coming up are based around like death. You you feel me? Like. So even even at night when I'm going to sleep, bro, I like I can't get that shit out of my head. You know what I'm saying? Like death is all literally. Nigga, did I just put the fire on the incompletion, man? My bad, y'all. But yeah, so they were just talking about different ways how they handle it. You know what I'm saying? They get, I don't know how religious y'all are, but I'm very uh sp spiritual. You feel me? So they was talking about that. And it was just a real good interview that kind of opened my eyes. Probably to uh, a couple things that I need to do, speak to my therapist about. Well, we we started that journey, but just get in a little bit more depth. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to get rid of all these issues I got. You feel me? Get rid of these little issues I got. That way I can feel like I'm living more than waiting to die. You know what I'm saying? Like, and don't get extra. We ain't talking about suicide or nothing like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Some people just become so obsessed with losing so many people that they never fully get to live. You know what I'm saying? But And, and I get trapped in those, in those periods because I'm always thinking about all the losses I have. Like, it's always on my mind. You know what I'm saying? Keep the butt. I done lost every, every brother is gone on my... Uh, my mama side still got my two brothers, but every brother is gone. All male figures who who raised me gone outside of my grandfather. But on my father's side, every male figure I had, all my brothers gone. You know what I'm saying? So it does make you think about your mortality and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you just be wondering what the hell going on for real. But yeah, check that interview out, bro. That interview dizzo. But now we can get back to why I'm trash at the Madonna, man. I don't know why, bro. I can't tell you, man. I know y'all gonna be like, man, a two, a two, a three-game losing streak. I'm gonna be honest. This was a two-game, and that was a beautiful defense. This was like, uh, if I lose this one, this was gonna be a two-game win winning streak. And I don't know about y'all. This should have been a pick right here because he waited so long. I lost, uh, but um. This would, if I lose this one, this would have been the first one. And then y'all seen the other loss against the tight offset dude. I made changes to the team and popped back out there. But I don't know about y'all, but if I lose a game, I'm no longer the person who immediately hops back on the game and, and try to play till I win. I used to be that person. I can't, I can't get off the game on no loss. The hell y'all can't, boy. I'm off the game on the L nowadays, man. Because man ain't worth it like that no more, dog. It ain't worth the anger that it put in your feelings. This ended up being Deion Sanders' last game, uh, last uh game on the team. We ended up getting dog ass up out of here. These lights be smoking. Like I got the big boy L Ultra. LED joints, man. That the bulb lasts 50 million years, but it be hot as hell. For real. But yeah, so I'm not one of them dudes who stay on the game. Like if I lose, I might take a break. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, you know that shit turned as we get nasty with the QB draw. 
Y'all know what it is, man. Anki is the best QB drawer of all time. But when you try to stay on the Madon after you've already taken a loss and you want to stay on till you win, that's how you build them crazy losing streaks. And before you know it, your ass then lost six in a row. You then broke two controllers. You then threatened to whoop your child and his ass ain't even did nothing. He then came in the room and, 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 and made a little bit of noise. But because you triggered off, off these ass whoopers in the Madon, you threatening the shit out. Hey, hey, what I tell you? I said to go, all right, wait till I'm done. I'm whooping you because I'm tired of talking to you. Little dog confused as hell. Like, nigga, you ain't even talked to me today, Pops. So, yeah. And, and y'all can act like, you know what I'm saying, y'all don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But Madden do that to you, bro. Madden put that kind of on the hot. You feel me? It put that on the hot. But I'm uh I'm playing somebody who's really good. Uh, I played dude before. Uh, it's actually on the channel. Uh, I ended up beating him in overtime. I got a clutch stop and uh tied the game up. God damn! Do you only come train when I'm uh recording? Lame man, nigga. But yeah, I ended up beating dog in overtime. And we had won the game, bro, so. Shut up! Damn, bro. Like, I hate that damn train, man. First, it was the ice cream truck when I was in the hood. Now it's the train, man. So I knew it, but yeah, these are the games that I love the most on, uh, on Mutt. Because, I mean, it's just so many dudes who are just really good at Madden that you get to play on the regular, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can let me know who's the best dude you've played this year, whether you on Regs, whether you on Mutt, whether you CFM. Uh, and right here is probably the biggest example of why I had this little mini rut. Look at my user, bro. So, so, right, so right here, if you notice with the user, even though I go this way, I don't commit to anything. Like the worst thing you can do with your user is be right in this area, which is called no man's land. My back is turned, so I'm never gonna be able to get back here. This is covered, this is covered. I'm not attacking anywhere in any direction with my user. You know what I'm saying? I would have been better strafing up and then attacking to see where I'm going to go. But just fully, I fully committed to nothing. So by the time this backside drag came, I was cooked. I was cooked. And that's been probably my issue the most uh, on these, on these, the games that I have lost is just my user. My user being cut, you know what I'm saying, in no man's land. And, like, at this point, just in life in general, I, like, if you lose to a real quality opponent, I don't think, like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to give it away if I lose this game or not. Have I? I, I probably already have it in what it is. But quality opponents, bro, and just real good games, like, where, where you don't feel like you got cheated. And I'm talking about really cheated. Because if we keeping it a fire while, 95% of niggas on the Madon have no clue if they getting cheated. Like, every nigga just assume they get cheated, bro. It's an automatic assumption on Madon that y'all, they cheating me when half the time you not even getting cheated. You've made a mistake on your end that you just don't want to hold yourself accountable for. And because of that, not a game trash, uh, EA on, on bumpers, and, and blase, blase. We all have done it. I've done it in the past. That shit just, I just, it should, that shit just makes you miserable. Cause then you kind of empower, you know what I'm saying, niggas in your comment section to start whining and crying about the game. And I don't be wanting to read that shit, boy. Like get better or shut up. That's 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 my that's my uh thing when it comes to the Madon. Get better or shut up. Like right here, that's better defense, but that's also just EA. I mean EA's programming of the game, bro. Those back, those uh, back of the line high balls. Even though safety should be able to play them, 
Sometimes they just get dirty on your stank ass and you and you can't really do nothing about it. So it is what it is. This is the this is the 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 highball era. This what this Madon was. You know what I'm saying? We're not gonna have to deal with it next year. Or if he would have held that block, I was gone. But this year it, it is something that we had to deal with. Crazy, bro. Next year, it's gonna be a well, Madden 24, it's gonna be a completely different meta. They have all y'all frustrated talking about Madden 24 was the worst. So, it just is It is what it is. In the moment, every nigga and their mama is going to say that this is the worst Madden. This is just how we, how this game is and just how the community is in general. Do I think this was a good Madden? Nope. Do I think this was the worst Madden? Hell no. It's me, bro. It's mid Madon, man. I ain't finna stress myself out over no damn mid Madon, man. I like I can't I, honestly I can't the bit the uh, I haven't played a good Madden since probably like 18, 18, 19. 20 was terrible, but it was fun as hell. Twenty one, uh, to me played more like this one with the press man meta. Then you had twenty two RPO escape glitch crazy. You know what I'm saying like. It is what it is, boy. I'm, I'm trying to make this content and get rich. But, nigga, look at this dot, boy. Look how I cook it up, man. Now, this is the one reason why I always tell y'all, I do not like my deep safeties to have acro at all. I just want them to have deep KOs and pick artists. That way, when they attack the ball, they do not lay out. They usually attack the ball or they attack the wide receiver. They don't lay out for it. So right here, I just run a quick cover four beater that I know will allow me to get over top. And then, you know what I'm saying, I know I'm a, if Randy get a shot, I'm going to throw it because he has deep out of lead on him. So he'll get the best animations. Run the play. We get over top. He has acro on him. Because he has acro, what does he do? Instead of knocking the ball out or just playing the uh going up for a pick, getting up under the wide receiver and knock it out, he triggers his acro. And what does he do? Completely dive and lay out for the ball and completely give up the tug. I, I'm cool with it on my corners. I'm cool with it in the box. I I hate it on deep safeties. Hate it on deep safeties. Because it's always your deep safeties who lay out for the ball on acros and they give up those type of plays. So that's why I hate, I, I, you'll never see me with acros, especially this year. Last year, of course. But this year, you'll never see me with acros on my deep safeties because they play like complete idiots, bro. And that should be having me mad as hell. So coming out, you know what I'm saying, uh, we, we, we got a seven-point lead. And I'm not mad at how I'm playing defense at all, cause I know Dog is a he a good comp player, bro. He 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 get in tournaments and all the shit that I just don't care about doing. So I'm not upset at how, at all at how I'm playing defense. I feel like I'm making good adjustments. He's just making good counter adjustments, and he's getting to his final read on a lot of plays, like right here. That's a good dot and good defense, and I'm going to tell you why I feel like that. Now, I know I need to get here. If he wants this quick check down here, he can. If he wants to try to high ball here, he can, but that's going to be a knockout. So I know I need to get here. Now, what I see is I do notice him on this backside. So I want to play both of them. You know what I'm saying? So what I should have done was stay, I should have stayed here until I seen him getting ready to load up, then drop. Because either way, like the moment I break off and commit, he throwing that corner out. If I just stay there and then kind of stop and go type shit, and maybe he holds that ball and I get him to make a, a bad read, but me fully committing, because it's a timing thing when you bait niggas. It, you, you jump it, when you feel like they going to throw that rock, I felt like he was finna throw it, and he just outplayed me right there, for real, for real. Uh, right there, good crosser. Uh, actually, post route, you know what I'm saying? Uh, good dot by him. He kind of caught me 
and uh, I got caught on the user right there. So again, like if if this is what the game gonna come down to, <clears throat> him getting through his progressions and getting to his third, fourth read, or having to take off with the QB, I'm cool with losing off that. If I play anybody and you can't kill me with your first read, like you can't kill me with this crosser and with this post, and then you have to go to these backside drags and things of that nature, take off with the cornerback type shit. I'm playing good defense. This is his last read right here. What happened was I just forgot to put uh, him in a seam flat, which which is which is my fault. You know what I'm saying? So right here, we're just going to try to send pressure again. Boom, he got to check down because I, I send pressure and I take away his corner route. You know what I'm saying? If, if he's going to beat me on them throws, cool. Cool, because the thing about it is, bro, when you playing good players, you're not going to stop everything. Right here, I thought that was a pick. Now, if you look at the play, dog, this nigga Peppers is 6'8". He is in good position to play this he gets bumped a little bit so he, and he ends up going behind but when i click on dog look where he is i'm thinking the moment i click he up he, he going to grab that shit or my deep route knockout right here gonna knock the ball out but look the animation i just get the outer reach animation and then that's when i knew i had to get Dion off my team because Dion to me is just horrible at corner like i hated his card uh last year I paid it all of his cards this year. It was just with the AP change, I had to run them. Now I don't have to run them, so I'm so glad that nigga off my team. End up trying it up 21-21. Uh, um, I've only had, I got the pick on his first drive, but I feel like I've only had two opportunities to get uh, picks. It was the, the corner route he threw that uh, was out of bounds. But I, I used her and played it bad, and then it was that uh, crosser. You know what I'm saying? Once you, if you stop a really good player once, it's a, it's a low possibility you gonna stop his ass like again. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like, like I'm not like a super, super duper sweat. You know what I'm saying? I'm a good player. I feel, I feel the same way. Like I'm three for eight, and it's twenty one, twenty one. Like, and that's just because I got the pick six. I got the QB draw run, and then I got the bomb at the end. So, I mean, if we keeping it a buck, he's, I've been outplayed offensively. Like, his defense has dictated more in this game than I have because my blocking is terrible. I'm not getting through my progressions quickly enough. So, he's dictating. Like, he's more likely to get a stop than I am. Just bait, like if you just watch how uh, the game is being played, when he's on defense, I'm on offense. He on offense, I'm on defense. He's more likely to get a stop than I am at this juncture of the game. Because it's been a lot, even though he hasn't had cakewalks, he's had to have long drives to move the ball. It, I'm having a way rougher time moving a rock than dog is, man. A way rougher time moving the ball. And that actually plays a uh, part as the game moves on and the game moves forward and you struggling to, 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 to pick up first and everything like that. You think about shit like that. You know what I'm saying? My equalizer is the QB draw for real. You think about that like, boy, I'm taking a while to move this ball. I, I'm constantly in third and fourth downs. And then you make mistakes like this one terrible mistake and i could tell you why i made the mistake so what i'm looking at is here then i'm thinking is this nigga in a cover four so i start looking for the beater and then i'm looking at the flat as terrible as it sounds i never looked at the post like i should have thrown this right here but I don't throw this. I don't throw this because I'm thinking this is a touchdown. I'm thinking he's going to go with him and then I'm going to have him up the seam. So I'm literally waiting for the shit to happen. And when it doesn't happen, I immediately revert my eyes here, here. I never looked in the middle of the field until it was too late. Right here is when I started looking to see how open dog is. I've already backed up too far. It's way too late to make that throw. Terrible on my part. 
terrible, you know what I'm saying, to not see that shit wide open in the field. But it just show, it goes to show you when you make predetermined reads, that shit costs you. You know what I'm saying? Predetermined reads where you where you know I'm going with the ball right here instead of just going through progressions, that shit costs you a lot in Madden, dog. I know for me. So right here, fourth and three. I know for a fact, because of how I've been picking up my fourths and all that, I've been uh, killing him on the underneath. I'm pretty sure he's going to be flatted here and may and probably deep blue in here so I can't catch him and then uh, maybe have one of these guys. I know he's going to be playing underneath. So this is why this is the best time for me to hit him up top with a deep corner, deep post, because I know he's playing underneath. Long as I pick up the pressure, which we do, we go ahead, boom, hitting with the corner route. I mean, yeah, hitting with the corner route. Get away from the knockout also. And, and uh, you know what I'm saying? Just, just a good play by us. You know what I'm saying? So this is going to come down whether or not he can make a good play. You know what I'm saying? Can one of his defenders make a play for him? Uh, right here, I should have playmaker him to the right. And I should, I know he's been having hooks and shit right there. And he's been manning him up also. So I probably should have put him on the slant because he's in an unbumpable position. He can't be bumped, so he's always going to get the free release. Right there, check down, get uh, get tackled. If I would have been patient, that corner route was going to open up and I could have thrown that. But again, I try to be the first nigga I see open, get him the ball, unless I'm in that type of situation where I got to push the ball upfield. So right here, this is this is the game changer right here. I go to the same short routage combo I always go to, and boom, I hit B, and his guy just makes a play on the ball. Ain't shit you can really do about shit like that. I throw that all the time. The only difference is, and to be real, I could have thrown Y. Once Y crosses him, I could have hit Y on the sideline. I should have thrown it here. Thrown it downward. And then why caught it? I th the one mistake I made, because you I got to remember, this is not the stock post. This post continues to climb, climb, climb. It doesn't flatten out as much as the hot route master post. So the more I let this develop, the harder it's going to be for me to why catch it coming back downhill. So I think the only issue is I let it develop too much. And Bayer cut it off. He acroed on the shit. That's a crazy play by his uh defender. You know what I'm saying? When the shit happened, I couldn't say shit, but damn, good play, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Good play. You can't even get mad if, 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 if the defense, if his players make a crazy play like that. So now, you know what I'm saying? I just got to play a couple of pieces of defense. We play really good defense here, even with the user. You know what I'm saying? We get the sack. We get them to a third and 13. This is where it's like, damn, what I want to do. I'm like, I kind of want to send pressure. You know what I'm saying? I, I kind of want to send pressure at dog. But then he audibles the bunch, so I go uh, I go more coverage. I decide to go more coverage. We're going to man up this slot guy because uh, him and then that tight end are the biggest threats. And I end up bailing off, and we end up making a tackle. The reason I bailed off because I thought the, the slot guy coming up the scenes would turn into a post. But he stayed there. Then right here, this was a uh, this is the the game right here. I end up sending pressure, and that's just a really great read. I went back, and the one mistake I made, and it's not really a mistake because at the end of the day, you playing chess. I I I guess I guesstimated he would send him out. Then I think on a fourth and five, he would block him. I knew he would send him out. So I was guessing he was going to send out five. I did not want to give up a free first down out in the seams. But Dog ended up blocking. He ended up blocking the running back, uh, assuming, I guess, that I would uh, send pressure. So he ends up picking up the pressure well. I still play good defense, but then right here, it's just it's just the high ball, the nature of the high ball this year. I, got, I have to respect this and play underneath. Dog just hit me with a nice high ball over the top. The middle of the field was naked because I sent pressure. And that's just a good play, bro. He just won the chess battle that game. You know what I'm saying? Just like I was able to win it. Because we was in the same situation we played uh, earlier when I, uh, a couple weeks ago when I beat him in overtime. It was a situation, and I sent pressure, 
and he sent out his routes and uh i got home got him into a fourth was able to get a stop right there because it was a fourth and long and i ended up winning the game you know what i'm saying this time it just didn't work if i send hendrix i get home quick and i forced that uh in route that i was running to i forced him to throw that earlier and i get off the field probably win this game you know what i'm saying but it just be like that once he crossed the 50 with uh all the kickers that's in the game he he already in field goal range right here already in field goal range you know what i'm saying i know he just trying to get a, a couple of pieces closer hit the flat route at this point i'm going for all knockouts all knockouts i'm not finna burn uh my time out because at this point it's pointless to be honest with you pointless to burn the to you know what i'm saying to me to me it is you know what i'm saying the game was already sealed when he picked up that previous first down so uh you know what i'm saying he just lets the clock drip down uh ends up kicking the field goal and i know a lot of y'all niggas gonna say but uh he might miss. Nigga, ain't nobody missing this with all the abilities on the kicker. That shit a free throw. You feel me? So we ended up kicking them shits through the upright, picking up the dub. This was my first loss. And then I had the other loss that I showed y'all against the tight offset dude. And yet, in, the, in Friday's, Saturday's video? But we ended up bouncing back crazy. Y'all, y'all know what the deal is. You know what I'm saying? I winning a couple soup bowls and. Can't remember what my record is currently in, in weekend league, but I'm I'm uh, it's, it's super good though. But yeah, big shout out to dog. You know what I'm saying, giving me another good game play to post. Appreciate y'all, boy, for rocking with your boy. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay, and I'll get it y'all tomorrow, man. <sighs> Peace.